do not make your food, put it in a Tupperware, and then leave it on your counter for a week because you literally will pass away. For this video, we're going to cook some food and leave it out for a week. But I'm going to show you what's growing every single day. Yeah, success. And since it's called fried rice syndrome, it only makes sense that I test rice. Now, before I start the experiment, all this will make a lot more sense when I show you what's living on your uncooked rice. Rice is considered an uncooked food, which means you're expected to cook it. Yes, that's what killing you means. Because it's considered uncooked, rice is allowed to have much more bacteria on it when sold at the store. And often, a bacteria called Bacillus cereus is among the bacteria found in uncooked rice. So let's go see what's growing in our rice. From that time lapse, we get an estimate of 500 colonies per 10 grams of rice. And since we know that there's 454 grams of rice in this bag, we can estimate that there's approximately 20,000 colony formers in this bag. Now, when it comes down to causing issues, that's not very much. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Your body is pretty good at getting rid of things that shouldn't be there, especially bacteria. Is this it? Is this all you can conjure? But now, let's go identify the bacteria, because that's where we can run into issues. I'm going to send this to a company called MicrogenDX, which specializes in identifying bacteria through next generation sequencing. So let's go see what types of bacteria were in our rice. Here are the results, and I'll quickly summarize what I see here. These microbes have no recorded instance of infecting humans. These microbes do have a recorded instance of infection, but it's extremely rare. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. And lastly, there it is, Bacillus cereus. I am the danger. This bacteria is dangerous because it can change itself into what's called a spore, which allows it to survive cooking. And after the cooking process is over, it begins growing again. Now that we know what's in the uncooked rice, we can officially start the experiment. I'm going to cook the rice and leave it in the rice cooker over the next seven days. However, after being cooked, it will be left at room temperature. Also, the only time I'll ever open the rice cooker will be in the sterile flow hood. I'm also going to take some of this rice and leave it in the fridge for seven days so that we can test that later. Just so I don't bore you, this will be the only time out of the seven days I show you the full testing process. Everything that I use to test the rice with will be sterile. This is a sterile tongue depressor that I'm using to scoop the rice out. Usually the typical sample size in microbiology is 10 grams, so I'm going to test 10 grams today. Now I'm going to add some sterile media to this rice to make a 1 to 10 dilution. Then I'm going to mix up this rice for about 30 seconds. And finally, I'm going to put some of that media on a petri dish. And by carefully doing this simple process, I'll be able to get an estimate of how much bacteria is in the rice. So now let's go see what might grow. In this time lapse, we observe zero growth, which shouldn't be concerning because this is just day one. On day two, the rice still smelled fine. And here is what it looked like. But even after 48 hours, there are still zero colonies. Now, if there truly is Bacillus cereus in this rice, we should have seen it by now, right? Unless, did I somehow eliminate all the bacteria? Or maybe the spores aren't as resilient as we've been led to believe. So is this rice safe to eat? Perhaps the day three time lapse will give us some more information. Only one colony grew. Now, for three day old rice, this is most likely contamination from myself. But these results made me realize something. Bacteria is likely growing in a couple spots, and I just haven't found them yet. So to verify this, I decided to mix things up, literally. And after letting that petri dish incubate, I found the bacteria. Now I need to figure out how much. To figure out how much bacteria is in the rice, we just need to play around with the dilutions. However, for this day five, I just want to make sure that the day four wasn't a fluke. So I'm testing the same dilution as day four. And as you can see, we definitely have a lot of bacteria in our rice. For day six, I'm going to test that a 10 to the negative three dilution, which is going to tell us if we're above or below 200,000 bacteria, which is 10 times the amount of bacteria found in uncooked rice. And as you can see from this time lapse, we definitely have more than 200,000 bacteria. Now I'm going to show you the main reason why leaving out food can be dangerous. This is day seven rice, and as you can see, it looks okay and it smells only slightly off. 
The only thing I can find that looks different is some brown spots on the rice. These are very likely bacteria that's grown so much we can see it with the naked eye, but you could easily mistake this with slightly burnt rice. And now let's go see how much bacteria is in this rice after seven days. This is the 10 to the negative fifth dilution, which means because there's about 200 colonies on this petri dish, we have an estimated 20 million colonies of Bacillus cereus. And how do I know that this is Bacillus cereus? Well, I decided to have the bacteria identified again by Microgen DX. And the results show me that the only bacteria that survived were spore forming bacteria. And now let's go see how that compares to the rice that's been sitting in the refrigerator for seven days. This rice is gonna be treated and tested the exact same way as the other rice. The only difference being is that this rice was refrigerated for the seven days. Let's go see what's growing. And as you can see, there's no growth on this Petri dish, which indicates that there's not very much bacteria on the refrigerated rice. So from this experiment, I hope you've learned that there's already bacteria on your cooked rice. And if you let it sit out too long, it will get you sick.